baseball fans and welcome MLB the show with a good one coming at you it's the Houston Astros going up against the Kansas City Royals Hi, folks John Chomby alongside Chris Singleton and Chris a guy that's been having a huge impact for this team all year Jose Altuve he leads the team and wins above replacement so most days you can expect him to be a big factor for these guys yeah, Boog, he's definitely a huge piece of the puzzle for this ball club right now. He's just having a really nice year, and that's on both sides of the ball, not just offensively. You talk to guys in the clubhouse, the coaching staff, they always have great things to say about him, and they say the team really looks to him to be one of the on-field leaders day in and day out. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set. And our pitcher tonight, Alec Marsh. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? Well, he's not a rookie, but still very young in this game, learning his craft. I think the key is getting consistent reps and the opportunity to develop his stuff. Looking forward to watching him pitch in this one. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. The second baseman, Jose Altuve. The wind of the pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. Not in time. Yeah. He's safe. Waste no time there. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can roll one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. It's Jordan Alvarez. That one finds the zone. It's 0 and 1. Altuve leads off second with nobody out. Swing and a miss. Tough guy up like that. You're feeling like you are in command. Righty to the play. One ball, two strikes. And nope, another ball. Tried, ball two. Here's a high chopper. And he picks it up in foul territory. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Not close with that one. Three and two now. Got him swinging. Here's Kyle Tucker. The one you need the Kyle Tucker. Fastball in for a strike. 0-1. So now here's Kyle Tucker. Tucker, former fifth overall pick in the 2015 draft by the Astros. This guy's turned into a whale of a player. Next pitch way upstairs. Tucker hits for power. He's got 30 homer power, but the strikeout rate is under 20%. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. One ball, two strikes. Man at second. Gets a piece and stays alive. Left hand batter waits. Slow roller to first, and he grabs it foul. One out, and a runner at second. That's down and in. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's sometimes where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. 
Got him looking as the fastball runs back over the inside corner. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go-ahead run in scoring position. Now it's Alex Bregman. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Oh. And ball one. The 1 0. Ball two. This one in the dirt, and the runner no holds. No strike. <laughs> Two and zero to Cal. Here it comes. Base knock center field. Headed for the plate. The throw in. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. One nothing. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Here's the catcher, Yainer Diaz. And there's a strike. Marsh, 25 years old, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Wisconsin. That's hard hit in the line. And that is that. Well, they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 1-0. You're dialed into the show. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, and today on the hill, J.P. France. What do you have on him, Chris? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Bottom of the first, and to the play for Kansas City, number 11. And a pitch. There's a strike. Up the middle. And he's safe no, at he first. A nice job getting there. Good throw, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. Right through there for a strike. Witt Jr. is one of only two players in ALNL history to have 20 home runs and 20 stolen bases in each of his first two seasons, Boo. The other player, Julio Rodriguez. Here comes the 1. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Kicks and deals. Just misses with that one. I think he wanted that call in the upper part of the zone, but just didn't get it. Now he's just trying to get a better feel for how much it missed, so he can adjust his sights just a little bit. Yeah, the righty deals. Back to the mound. There's one out there, but that's all they'll get. Well, that they weren't overzealous no, there. Just take the sure out, keep the run out of scoring position. Nick Lofton steps in for the Royals. I love this part of the game. Does he really want to try and steal second against this catcher? I know he's fast, oh, but it's pretty risky. That misses the zone. Ball one. Runner on the goal. Pitch it's misses right. inside. Oh, Throw the yeah. second, and he's safe. Was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. 
Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. The 2 1. Hauls it in for the out. Got it. Cool. And here now, the lineup for the Royals. Still early in the season, but so far it has been a struggle for this team, ranking towards the bottom in both on base and runs. They do have some power. Yeah, and you expect a club like this to gel and, and to put things together. When you break camp of spring training, sometimes you're a little too anxious. You're trying to make things happen instead of allowing them to happen. Well, and I think time. that's going to happen eventually for this team. Salvador Perez, the next to hit, takes ball one. Win. At second with two down. Here's the pitch. Runner breaks That's for in. third. Ball There's a ball. Out at third. And that ends the inning. When you get thrown out at third with two outs, you kind of want to keep on running. Not a great decision there as it ends the inning. Back here in Kansas City. Second inning set to go. Leading off number 28. Marsh back to work. Pulls that one foul. Outside corner, there's a strike. Carl Dixon doing the umpire behind the plate. And Boog, I'm not sure if it's because he sort of sets up higher than most, but one thing to be aware of with Dixon is the high strike. Not usually a big deal because most players are swinging at pitches up there, but we may see some surprise looks from hitters from time to time because that's just so unusual. And now here is Chaz McCormick. That one inside, and that is ball one. One down, base is empty. Foul ball. And another ball. One out, base is empty. Curve is down and in. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Foul ball, and it remains a full cow. A dive, he's got it. Over the first. And that's a great play for the out. That was an impressive diving stop. Singy, let's dive into the numbers. Stack has the simple. Yeah, Boog, a really good effort just to get his glove to the ball. He found a way to do it and just produce a strong throw as well. So that right there is a great play all the way around. Just really smooth. Two outs, space is empty. And now it's going to be Jeremy oh. Pena. And the first pitch misses Count for ball one. Two down, nobody on. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks back. Well, I saw a change up really well. Just a little early, still barreled in. As you see, home run distance just couldn't keep it fair. Next Two offering one. way off the plate. Two out, spaces empty. Wouldn't Three chase ball. that time. Dive. 
slips, but it kicks off his glove. Still able to get it there in time. And they come away with an out after a tricky start to the play. Offense held a check there. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Astros one and the Royals nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the second. And here's the first baseman, Salvador Perez. Here comes a pitch. Inside just missed. Next pitch is outside. And the right hander deals. Swing and a foul straight back. And another ball. Yeah, there's ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter or two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. And that one fouled off. The Astros up by a run. Bottom half of inning number two. Now fly ball to right center. And there's one down. That is good. No left field. MJ Melendez steps in for the Royals. He's been showing off some pop lately. Three homers already in this series. First Ball. pitch misses. Ball one, no strike. Perez leads off first with one away. Two now. At the ball. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. In the dirt, but kept close. And an excellent job keeping it right there. And that is ball four. That is that. But to Renfro at the plate. Double steal. And that one fouled off. Two on, one out. On the ground, left side. Six. One at second. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. And we're back. And now here's the speed threat outfielder Jake Myers. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris. It's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times a ball comes off the bat, ball automatically ball. that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. And the pitch. 
And what makes him even quicker is the fact that he's so dialed in on the pitch as it's moving through the hitting zone. He can see how that hitter's lined up, what he's trying to do, and where that pitch is going to end up, which gives him that really quick first step. And that's why he makes so many great plays. Righty delivers. And a ground ball to first. He steps he's on out. the bag. Leadoff hitter gone to the third. Now back. Second base. Jose Altuve up to hit here. One for one with a double and a run score. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his oh. bat stays in the zone a long time and that produces solid contact consistently. Now bat designated hit. Jordan. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Jordan Alvarez. All around, I think if you asked anyone in this organization who's the best hitter in the lineup, they would say hey. him. And that's a strike. <laughs> Next Over. one misses, and a count even one and one. And that's in the dirt. That one finds the zone. That is strike two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the Astros put down in order. So they make short work of them there. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Astros one and the Royals nothing. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, the bottom Royals. of the inning. And now, Freddie for me. The pitch. One one there. Just That's off the outside edge, and now 2-0. Oh. Nope. And another okay. ball. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. The line to kick the pitch. Hey. Fouls one away and now three and two. Payoff pitch. And a pop up right side foul territory. Puts it away for the out. Batting up. The seven two. Here's Garrett Hampson. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. On the ground to third. Bragman to first. And that quickly, two away. Now, now, now. The third baseman. Mike now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals. Reached on an infield single his first time. Laced down the line. This looks like extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. And next up for the Royals, Bobby Witt Jr. He's 0 for 1. That's oh, one. a little bit low. Royals leave one, 
Still behind by a count of one to nothing. All set for the start of the inning. And now the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. Kyle Tucker. The pitch. That one pulled foul. Tucker, who's been an all-star and a gold glover. That one fouled off. Going to now. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. Here's Alex Bregman. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Check swing, but he went too far. That's strike one. Bregman measures six feet even, 190 pounds, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in New Mexico. Next offering is downstairs. Tucker gets his lead at first with nobody out. There goes Tucker. Ground ball left side, and it goes just foul. Foul ball still a one and two count. Right hander kicks deals. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Runner at first with no outs here. Next pitch misses way outside. Got him. I can't argue with that one, and clearly he was looking for something else, anything but the breaking ball. It's a great pitch to hit right there if you're looking for it, and kind of a gift at a two-strike count. But sometimes you just get fooled, and you got to tip your cap. Diaz in the box now. No balls and a strike. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. This one in the air right field sizes this one up. They got it for out number two. Now that number And now the first baseman. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Ground ball up the middle. And that is the inning. One left for Houston, but they hold a 1-0 lead. Ready to go, bottom four. Now it's the second baseman, Nick Lofton. The pitch. That one down the line. Fair ball. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No, no messing around right there. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. He reached out a walk his first time. Late swing fouled off. The 
the pitch. Rudder takes off. Swung on, ball two. And that one hops the wall. Around third. He scores to tie it. It's 1-1. Big RBI for him right there. He hit that ball really well in deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but you're always happy with an extra base hit. Here's the Royals' designated hitter, Nelson Velasquez. And a good eye there. One on, nobody out, a run in. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Swing and a miss, strike one. Well, that's that slow right one there. Three. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Now this is in the air down the line. He's got it. Runner tags up for third. And he makes it up to third with one away. Man, Boog, I love watching an outfielder take on the wall to make that play. Come and it's a here. lot Come easier to watch from up here because that can be painful in the end. You know the wall's coming up on you quickly, so you have to maintain concentration and able to make that catch and hold on to it after oh. contact. Melendez, the next to hit, takes low for a ball. Hard hit, right side. Altuve slings to first. Out number two and another run comes in. So important to really lock in on an at-bat like this. It seems easy with the infield back, but you've got to make sure you put the ball in play. Put it on the ground, brought that run in. Now it's Hunter Renfro. He hit into a double play his first time up. And here's the strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. It usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Kicks and fires. Base knock right field. And that keeps the inning alive. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Now the catcher up to hit. Freddy for me. First pitch, and he just misses. Righty to the plate. Aye. Renfro off of first with two away. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Two ball. In the dirt. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Swing and a miss struck him out. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left. We're headed to the fifth. It's the Royals two and the Astros one. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's the left fielder, Chaz McCormick. Chaz McCormick. And a pitch. That's inside. Ball one. Well, these Astros, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Next offering is in for a strike. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had them eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. This one smashed down the right field line. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game. But right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Next to hit, Jeremy Pena. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. The shortstop takes a ball. Count one and oh.
the pitch. In for a strike. And a count one and one. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. And a pitch. That one in the dirt. Now two balls and a strike. Way to lay off that pitch down. Kicks and deals. Up the middle. Dives, but it's off his glove. No throw, and the defense comes away with nothing. Back to back singles. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Jake Myers, the next to hit. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. Gets under and pops it up. And that goes foul. Trying to move the runners over. Off balance beat. There's one. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. So the lineup flips over. And the batter down. Jose Altuve. Right through there for a strike. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. The Strohs down by a run. And we're at the top of the fifth. Next Boy, offering boy. way off the plate. I think ultimately you want to tie him up. Get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Two on, one out. High fly ball down the left field line. That one is back. And it is gone. His fourth home run of the season. It's 4-2. The brighter the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, this guy lives for big moments. And right there, made a statement big time. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Now it's the DH. You're Don Alvarez. Not no more, even no close point. there. And that's ball one. One down, base is empty. That's Wouldn't okay. chase that time. Marsh, maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to Aye. throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. And he deals. Slides for the stop. Fires to first. And they get the out. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. Tucker, up for the third time here, watches that one miss. There's a strike. I got one ball, one strike. Clips the corner <laughs> and the count one and two. So far, all we've seen in this at bat are fastballs. Look for him to slow it down right here ahead in the count. Two outs. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. hits in a row for him here just kept it simple played pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from and there's just no one there to knock it down 
And now it's Alex Bregman. One for two. He had an RBI base hit back in the first. That Whoa. misses the zone. And that's ball one. And here it comes. Missed to center field. It falls in, and that's a knock. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Now, Look, I don't think that Catch pitch would have been called a strike, yeah. but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight. Cole Reagan gets the call from the pen. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. Yainer Diaz digs in now. That what one up? almost got him. Tucker, the lead runner out at second. Bregman on at first with two down. Is fouled off. It's a real good life going to the zone on that one. At the belt and finals. That one way outside. Now two and two. And the pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Bounced up the middle. Wit. They get the force. They limit the damage here. Houston brings in three on this homer. It's now 4-2. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. We head to the bottom of the fifth. The so up now for Kansas City, no, Garrett Hampson. And a pitch. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Well, these Royals doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. One thing that really stands out to me is how they've only struck out one time. That's swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's down. One hops off the wall. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals. Hey. Swing and a miss. Going along. All those numbers mean this offense is really making the defense work by just putting the ball into play. Anything can happen at that point. Man, it's second. And a foul ball. Just a slow ground ball this time. Sends it to first. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. That's a good piece of hitting right nope, there. Nope, it's nope, early, nope. but you still sure want to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score. That's exactly what happened. So you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat.
That one found hard the other way. One away with a runner at third. Last half of inning number five. Swing and high fly ball deep left field. McCormick on a dead sprint racing back. Leaping and it's gone. So he just clears the wall. Third home run of the season and they tie it up. It's 4-4. Man, he just barely got that one out of here. You've got to love the effort and laugh to try and bring it back. He had a good shot at it, just couldn't quite pull it off. It would have been a stunner if he did. And now, Nick Lofton. That Ball one not one, no close. Fight. Ball one. Still only one out here in the inning. He deals. Good nope, eye in that spot. You got two balls, one strike. There's a strike. <laughs> Tied at four. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Adam swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location. He found a way to just get it by him. will be the cleanup hitter for the Royals Salvador Perez swings through that one out in front that time oh and one two down nobody on and there's a strike on the outside corner Line of the pitch stays alive. To the right side, and that one handled. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. All even now at four apiece. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Kansas City. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And stepping in for the Astros, number 28. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And that one in the air center field. Hampson makes the grab. And there's one down. He was all over that first pitch fastball. Just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. McCormick. Chaz McCormick. Now at the plate, one for two. And yeah, that's outside. One and oh. Action in the pen down there. John Shriver appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Base is empty, one away. And we're at the top half of the sixth. One down, base is empty. And that drops in for a strike. And another ball.
Tries to hold up, appeal to first. No swing. Eric Summers kill with the call. Hit in the air, right field. Renfro makes the grab, and there's two gone. The batter, number three. Jeremy, Jeremy Pena will hit next. Here he is in a spot where he makes most of his money against left-handed pitching. to the right sends it to Perez that ends the frame nothing doing there for Houston this game's all tied at four the Astros turn to a new arm of the mound from Valdez hasn't pitched in the last three days Nelson Velasquez getting ready to hit. The designated hitter. As the lefty gets to work. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. And now the lefty rolled softly, but that goes foul. Oh and two now. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Tied at four. At the ball. From him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. MJ Melendez steps in for the Royals. Pitch misses inside, and it's one to know. Curveball kind of backed up on him there. I think it just slid out of the hand a little bit too soon. Here comes a pitch. There's a strike. Wow, that's 89 on the gun, and it's a changeup. It's like good hitting if you're looking for it, but because of the speed differential between the fastball and that pitch, really hard for a hitter to get on time with it. With the go-ahead run at first, here in the bottom of the sixth. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Dive, and he's got it. From his knees, the throw. Over to Altuve. On to first, save. So they get one, but a really nice try there. Just a beautiful play right there to get it out. He dives to make the stop. Then a nice feed from his knees. Knew he didn't have time to get up and make that throw. The throw beats the runner. That's that internal clock working. Now it's Hunter Renfro. That oh, misses right off the outside edge. The base runner at first with one out. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. Kicks and fires. Good job to fight that one off. pitch struck him out looking I'm not really 
not sure why he let that one go by. I mean, out of the hand, it had a lot of the strike zone. Sure, it had some good arm side run at the end to move to the outside part of the plate. But with two strikes, you got to be ready to swing it there, and you can't leave it in the umpire's hands. And now the catcher comes up to him. Freddie Fermin. Snap throw to first. No, he and he's can't. back in safely. Just missed. The pitch. Bounce to the right side. Altuve. Third out. That ends the frame. No runs on no hits, no errors, and one left. We're through six full, and we are tied 4-4. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, John Schreiber. And stepping in for the Astros, Jake Myers. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. The pitch. That's a strike. He's so solid, calms the heart rate of the pitcher and the manager when the ball goes up in the air. You just automatically assume that it's an out every time it's hit in the air. Next offering is in for a strike. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. That was a well-executed slider away from the strikeout right there. First two pitches filled up the zone and got him ahead 0-2 in the count. And at that point, you can start expanding the zone as a pitcher. He made a chase and got the quick strikeout. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. He's already homered here in this one. And that one hammered Hampson, ranging back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. Now the number two hitter, Jordan Alvarez. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. So the go ahead run is on base with a knock. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And the batter now, Kyle nope. Tucker. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Wouldn't All chase two. that time. Two and out. Next All offering three. is down low. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Let's see if he gives them anything to hit here. That one is absolutely belted. Tattooed and gone. And they jump out front. It's 6-4. That's a fun way to take the lead. Just hit one out of the park. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run. The slight opposite field into the gap. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. Alex Bregman up next for the Astros. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. 
Swing and a line drive, slicing into right field. Renfro pulls it down, and that is that. Two-run shot for the Astros this inning. It's a two-run lead now at 6-4. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Hunter Brown. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Garrett Hampson steps in for the Royals. The center fielder. Brown measures six feet two inches, 210 pounds, and he was a fifth round pick back in 2019. And there's a foul ball. And there's a ball. Try to punt his way on. And he beats it out. It's a bunt single to start the inning. This is a big part of his skill set, and he puts himself in a situation where he can rely on his speed to impact the ball game. And this is just another example of it, and we'll see what else he can do now that he's on first. So the Royals back. Now this guy's definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. The tying run at the plate and fouled off. The pitch. Next One offering ball. misses down and away. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. Three. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Typically, that high fastball, if no it's matter, close matter, to matter. the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. And now, Bobby Off Witt Jr. Ball. First offering, and it just misses. Tying run at the plate. Next pitch in for a strike. And the count even at one. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. The pitch. In the air to left down the line. And no one can get to it. It's a foul ball. He was a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. Brown checks the runner. Oh, Hampson back in on the dive. The one two. Hey. Got him looking for the K. Oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeouts. So. They haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Now at the plate, Nick Lofton. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Two outs. Foul ball there. And he'll two. On the ground to third, and he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. Right-hander kicks, deals. Nope. That misses. Now one and two. Really good two-strike pitch right there. Surprised he was able to spit on that thing.
Here's a one two. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. In time, the 2 3 strikeout ends the inning. So they can't do anything with the leadoff single there. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Astros six and the Royals four. And we're back to the top of the eight at the play. Gainer Diaz. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Schreiber back to work. Oh, that's just out. Yeah, that's outside. And that's ball one. When you got a catcher like this guy with a big arm like that behind the plate, it really shuts down the running game. Corrals it. And there's one away. Now back. Number 20. And here's the first baseman. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. And yeah, that skips into dirt. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the eighth. Swing and a miss as he was late. One ball, two strikes. Left-hand hitter waits. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. One down, base is empty. Fights that one away, still one and two. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Just outside. Two balls, two strikes. Two strike. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. And boy, umpire didn't give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. Righty delivers. Fights it off. You'll see another. Here's a 2-2. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Right-handed reliever. Got him. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Absolutely dotted the edge of the zone right there. That was a tough battle, man. So to make a really quality pitch and just catch him looking like that, it's got to feel good out there on the mound. That was some fun at bat to watch. Two outs, base is empty. Now the left fielder, Chaz McCormick. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two down, nobody on. Hey. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. One ball, one strike. They tried ball to two. get him to chase on a slider down and away. And the right hander deals. Slapped hard the other <laughs> way, but foul. Two outs on the ground with over to first oh. out number three Astros go down one two three they still lead it though six four Miguel Diaz on the pitch out of the pen here he's making his second appearance of the season. And now the first baseman, Salvador Perez. The first baseman. The line to the pitch. 
Right through there for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Oh, nope. he doesn't get the call. And it's one and two. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Right into the plate. Three. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting the call. Yeah, he yeah. probably should have got but it. But didn't let it affect it. his focus. Yeah. And he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. Yeah. Next is the designated hitter, Nelson Velasquez. Inside, almost got him. And the 1 0. Popped up. Makes the catch and a couple of quick outs. A couple of pitches and a quick out. Number one, MJ. And here is MJ Melendez. Just off the outside edge, ball one. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. Hey, he doubled up on the off speed there. We talk about the power fastball, but he's working a little differently here. Here's a 1-1. One -one. And another ball. That's a really good take right Two there. One. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Yep. Just off the outside part of the plate, Hunter Renfro in the on deck circle. And down on strikes he goes. Three up, three down, inning over. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Astros six and the Royals four. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Will Smith. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. So digging in, Jeremy Pena, one for three. And he deals. The shortstop takes the ball. Swing and a ball popped up. One away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on oh, it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Jake Myers. Here's the center fielder, Jake Myers. Struck out on just three pitches last time. There's a strike, 95 of that one. And it's fouled away. One down, base is empty. Missed inside with the curve.
And a pitch. And that one lifted in the air center field. And he makes the catch. And there's two away. Now back. Second base. Jose Altuve. Jose Altuve. Up next for the Astros. He's already homered in this game. Saying he, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubble gum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really Go sharpen things the on the outer okay. half, those are the ones that become elite. <laughs> Right through there for a strike. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. Two down, nobody on. That one fouled off, two and two. Finish him. And here it comes. That okay. one misses, and it's three and two. Your Don Alvarez waiting for a turn at the plate. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top of the ninth. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Fermin makes the catch, and that'll do it. No runs, no hits, no errors. Bottom part of the order, 7-8-9, two up in inning number nine. It's the Astros six and the Royals four. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Josh Hader. He comes in with a chance for his second save of the season. And to the plate for Kansas go, City, go, go, Hunter go, go. Renfro. The right field. Hunter. Hunter. Renfro. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a pop-up. Altuve in position. And there's one down. Now bad. The catch is Freddy. He's two Freddy. outs away. Freddy for me steps in for the Royals. Top of the zone for a strike. It's 0-1. Well, so many hard-throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that hitters have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch-up. And the pitch. That's the third. Sends it across the first. Two up, two down. The center fielder, number two. Garrett. Hampson. Last chance for the Royals. And now the center fielder, Garrett Hampson. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Base hit. And that turns the lineup over. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Number 11 stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. This is a great dynamic right here. Speedy runner at first, thinking about taking second. Catcher with the pop time that leaves Jaws on the floor. This might get interesting, boo. They're down to their final strike. That he really sells the changeup with that arm action. 
Hader is just one strike away. That one out to right. And that will drop foul. Two-run game, a two-away here in the bottom of the ninth. Not close with that one. And it's two and two. Slice to right. And it stays fair. Hampson, round second on his way to third. Coming home. He scores, and they trail by one. Back-to-back -back base hits. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. And next up for the Royals, Bobby Witt Jr. Trying to deliver as the hero. First pitch night, misses. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. When I mean, you get into some hot water, a gym, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. So the tying run at second. That's and that one upstairs. When the skipper calls down to the bullpen, he's expecting the guy to come in and get out. So far, not getting what he was hoping for. And a pitch. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. Try to keep the game alive here in the bottom of the ninth. That's in there. And now two and two. Man on second, two down. Pitch misses outside. And the count's full. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. At the belt and fires. Gets a piece and stays alive. MLB win, Boog. They turned to him when they didn't have the lead. He kept things steady, and he's rewarded with the W. 6-5 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.